Hey guys, welcome to episode 37 of my Block Mayhem SMP. And the roads. <laughs> the whole server <coughs> was pranked by, I think, Neo Zenith and Laza Waffle. Um, <laughs> so that's pretty funny. But they were nice. They gave us all the slabs back. This is actually pretty hilarious. All the leaves look so funny. They mix and match them all. Oh man, that's hilarious. And they filled the entire storage room so you have to access all the chests from um, the outside here. Like that. Um, but yeah, the gold farm is finished. So it's been running for, I don't know, about 24 hours now. Um, because Super Sweet J is AFK. Um, so we're just gonna check and see how much. I'm not expecting that much. I would be happy with like a stack of ingots at this point because the system runs okay, awesome. The system runs all the time. Um and we're not using gold all the time even though we are all wearing gold armor now. Like when we built the iron trench we all wore wore iron armor and now that we have the gold farm we all wear gold. But um yeah we can always build up farther um farther up so i'm not worried about that hey enderman but yeah it's pretty good so let's see what we got here wow that's pretty good i'm just gonna craft it all into ingots for a sec so we definitely have a stack of ingots and it looks like more which is cool you got a stack there. <laughs> stack at 39. That's pretty good. And if you're asking why there's like golden swords and armor and ink sacks, ink sacks because the squid can spawn in there because there's water. And the armor and sword because um, zombies, like regular zombies, can spawn on the roof of this place, like on the top area of the top nether portal, and they can fall down by chance and um, drop in these, and their armor can drop if they spawned with it on. And somebody walked, somebody broke that glass here, so that's kind of not nice um... guess I'll just use stair I found here and that's block it off somebody should replace that um... and now <coughs> I'm going to show you what I've been working on the past day <coughs> I call it my nether smelter 9000 um... It's a ton better than any other smelter that anybody can make on the server here so I see like Sloan's got her little smelter thing right there no this is a ton better for one it doesn't waste any of your own fuel because it uses lava and two it evenly distributes the items across the whole array so you never have to uh um, like individually like put it out so it, it'll it's got maximum speed so if you come through the nether portal you just go Jake's nether smelter 9000 hop down my ladder um, the thing is totally encased gas proof everything zombie pigment can can spawn inside though that is the only uh, downside but whatever you can just kill them if you're strong or not so yeah fire protection so I'm going to show you how it works um, so we come through here we just go down simple can't get lost and here it is um, light on means that all these furnaces are full with one bucket of lava that's all it it's all it means it's all it means um, this GUI right here right now it's on XP mode or manual collect and I see XP flying. There we go. That was weird. Um, that means that there's hoppers underneath these. 
and normally what would happen if we flip this lever down um, the items that are done smelted will get sucked out and then put into this chest here like finished project glass um, so yeah or you can just turn it on um, XP mode manual collect because um, that's what I do because then you can see and you can get the XP here these chests are just um, netherrack chests so if you wanna come down and bulk and just like bring your inventory a couple times you can do that um, so what it what happens here is you put all the stuff that you want to smelt into here and temporarily I accidentally blocked that chest off with double slabs so I will fix that in a sec but no not today um, but you would just put all your all your stuff in there cobble sand ores doesn't matter throw it all in there the system will automatically sort it out evenly distribute it don't have to worry about um, only putting cobble in and waiting to get all the smooth stone out throw everything in there doesn't matter right here the oh that chest works the lava input chest um, what you would do is when all these start smelting there would be an empty lava bucket you would just take it all walk outside right click um, on the lava fill it all up open this chest dump it all in it'll get sucked out and evenly distributed once again so that is the pro there that was risky um, so yeah that how that's how it works it's pretty cool I'm very proud of it um, only took a day which is nice because like I don't know, usually projects on the server take a long time. So we also need to do the slime farm, and I need a lots of smooth stone for that, so that's another reason why I built this. And let's try to figure out... Hey, bud. Can you hit me? No. Hey, bud. Oh, that's not good. You guys can't spawn on the hoppers. That's not cool. Alright, I'm going to fix that one chest, and then we'll get back to a, a project for today. Okay, I'm back here. Um, I got four lava buckets. I just realized that my boots broke, so I'm very sad. Must have been from fighting the pig man. Um, but yeah, we need to go down there. But first, I have to show you guys something that has been taking up a lot of my time. And I don't think I've shown it, which is just crazy. This thing right here. There was a sign on this saying, Jake and Noah's secret project, for a long time. And, uh, I never revealed what it, what it was, really, to anybody. Um, well, not to too many people. But, it's, uh, it's pretty cool, I think. So, I'll just show you. So, you come down here, and, um, it is a subway station for, uh, the whole spawn. So this will run like constantly <clears throat> and go all the way to different stations. We're going to have four of these. This is number one, station number one. Blue line is residential, res residential meaning spawn, uh, every place around spawn. Red line is like out of town. Um, right here you got a clock, tell the time. Um, it's pretty cool. I don't know if this is wired in at all yet. No, he didn't wire it up yet. Noah's been doing all the redstone for this. But, um, if you want to see it go, it's it's pretty cool. Maybe we can hop in one. Maybe. Um, we're going to get all jammed up, though. I should get in the front. There we go. <laughs> um, I don't think we finished the tracks. Oh, we did. Sweet. So this goes all the way to station two, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, this is station two here, pretty good too. Um, and this goes up and ends up at my shop here. And I'm going to change around my shop to something else. But yeah, comes up through here. Got two pathways going down that meet up. You head down the stairs. Oop. Just got some materials. 
Um, I'm gonna take all these redstone blocks, actually. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. So we should have eight minecarts. One, two, three, four, five, and the rest went. Let's go. So yeah, pretty cool, I think. Um, it's taken up a lot of our time, though. It takes forever to dig these tunnels here and then replace everything with stone brick, make it look nice. Car not the area, but good thing I have my pickaxe named Fun with efficiency 5, and we have a haste 2 beacon, so it's pretty quick. Um, yeah, I like that a lot. And we are glitching out. Gotta get all the carts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is what happens when a cart comes into the station. All of these blocks come out, and the first one gets stopped in, in there. But um, if four, pe if all eight people were riding, then uh, it'd be really cool because they would all get locked into the same place but empty carts don't go as fast as carts with people in them so this is the way out it comes out by the pathway over to Ewan's tree here see there it is pretty cool got it that all done with stone brick and stuff so yeah I think that's pretty cool so the last thing we're gonna do today is I'll finish up the slime farm and I'll show you guys in a bit there's a high amount of splooge in this area. I agree, man. I agree. We need to be, we need to be careful, dude. I know. I mean, it's just, it's contaminated all the waterways. And this area, directly below the iron farm, has the uh, the highest concentration of splooge. And it's doing all sorts of terrible things to the environment. I mean, if you want to just, you have your hazmat suit on, right? Yes. All right, if I'm you safe. come down here... I mean, you can just see what it's doing, leaving, you know, obsidian, oh my God. Oh deposits my God. of iron. I mean, we have, we're we not allowed to go all the way down there Yeah, yet. I understand. Um, you know, because we're not sure what will happen. Mm -hmm. You know, there could be some terrible creatures and stuff down there. But of it's course. just, it is wrecking the environment. Yes, I can see. And, see. you know, luckily we fabricated these, uh, these amazing hazmat suits. Uh-huh. Um, but hopefully we'll be protected. And don't worry, guys. The green team is going to be on it shortly. Um, we're just waiting for uh, for some new equipment to be shipped in. But you know, yeah, the green team's got to get on this. I, I, I know. Can't, man. I can't keep looking at this. It's disgusting. You know, uh -huh. all this, all this stuff, all this spooge coming from the, the iron farm. The byproduct. Yeah, we got to work on a purification process and all that other stuff. But roses and splooge. But in the meantime, you wanted to show them the uh, what slime. you've been working on for the past couple days. The slime farm. Yeah, man. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll show you guys the slime farm. That was like the most obvious cut ever. No. <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> what? No. Come on, Dad. Who? I'm coming. I'm coming. Hold up. I'm coming. No. Don't you touch me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna throw my meat on your face. How's that feel? Me. <laughs> Turns <Stop> away. <laughs> Teabagging me. <laughs> oh, look at there's a guy. <gasps> oh. All right, show Watch us how it it's now. done. F1. F1. Oh F8. no, he's gonna. F8. Do he F8. wants to follow us. What's F8? Oh wait, do? let's F8 because it goes in like all fancy. Smooth camera. Here, I'll move here. If he's if he wants me. Oh, are you gonna go in? Yeah, I'll go in. Are you ready, man? You get go into the battle zone. Hold on, I still have F eight on. It's crazy as <laughs> but... Alright. You wanna disconnect? Because I think oh, oh, oh. E ah He did. So now that was anti-dramatic. We come down. We come down, <laughs> we, we come down this ladder here. Did you stay in F8 for that? Because that was fantastic. No. You should and, add some, uh, like, some music to that. And like there's all the slime balls. Oh, it just went in. Yeah. And look, there's a giant S for slime. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I'm taking it all back because I need it. <laughs> That's funny. I just realized something when I came down there. Uh, can you toss me some dirt or cobble or something? Okay, that's good. 
Oh, you knew it. I understand your language. Your damn lingo these days. And your crips and your chicks and all that other kind of gang things. Now. <laughs> I'm gonna die. GG, guys. Oh, half heart. <laughs> Don't you fucking do it again. Don't you fucking do it. It'll be a great end of the episode. Though. It will be a terrible end to the episode. Oh. 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 oh my god. <laughs> oh, heart. I got a heart. I ran away! You'll never catch me, bitch. All you have to do is get one shot on me. Oh! Ah! Fudge! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what you say. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. My <laughs> name's Jake. Be sure to subscribe to Super. The link's in the description, as well as myself. If you haven't already, please hit that like button. And, of course, I will see you guys next episode. Bye-bye.